firefighter. My uncle is a firefighter. My name is Tilly, and my uncle is a firefighter. Today, I get to visit him at the fire station. Uncle Jason gives me a tour. Just like my house, the fire station has a kitchen, but this kitchen has three refrigerators. That's because firefighters work in twenty-four hour shifts, and each shift has its own refrigerator. Next stop on the tour is Uncle Jason's bedroom. It has a television, couch, and bed. After sleeping, he puts fresh sheets on the bed for the next firefighter. Next, Uncle Jason shows me the day room. This is where the firefighters hang out after chores are done. I climb into one of the big chairs and watch television with the guys. Most of the time, though, they're busy helping people and making sure their equipment is ready. Next, we go to the most exciting part of the fire station, the garage. Two fire trucks are ready, ready to handle an emergency. Any emergency. Uncle Jason quickly drives the water truck. It takes whole two thousand gallons of water. Firefighters can use one thousand gallons of water in a minute. They use the water in the truck whenever no fire hydrant is nearby. On the truck is the equipment that firefighters need, including medical supplies and a snake box. In the desert, the fire station gets calls from people with snakes in their yards. How a hydrant works? Hooping up a fire hose to a fire hydrant is also only the fire step. First step, the water then runs into the truck. The truck has pumps that help control the water's pressure. Once the water exits the truck and flows into the second hose, the water is ready to do its job. If the if the snakes are dangerous, firefighters capture them with a metal pole called a snake grabber. Snakes are locked safely in the box. They're let go later, far from any houses or businesses. Uncle Jason showed me a rattlesnake. It gives me the creeps, but it's cool too. The firefighters show me the gear. They wear in a fire, and I get to put it on. There's a special coat, pants, a helmet, and an air tank. It's like wearing a winter coat in the summer. It's heavy and hot. If there's ever a fire at home, Uncle Jason warns me never to hide under my bed or behind my curtains. That would make it hard for firefighters to find me. Suddenly, there's a call. It's a fire. The firefighters grab their gear and they are off. With their sirens blaring, I stay. I stay at the station with my dad while they fight the fire. When they return, tired and dirty, Uncle Jason tells me all about the call. A man was working on his car in his garage when a fire started. He and his wife and daughter escaped to the sidewalk, but their pool. Puddle was stuck inside. The firefighters pulled out their hoses and went to work. Uncle Jason searched the house and found the paddle hiding under a bed. He was found a fishbowl and two parakeets in a cage. They rescued the pets and put out the fire. Uncle Jason and the other firefighters saved the day. Do you know? We all know that firefighters put out fires. Did you call? Did you know they also help people in many other ways? They are called when someone is sick or injured and needs to be rushed to the hospital. They are often called to help people at the screen of a car crash. Firefighters might be called if someone is hiking and has a bad bad fall or even is stuck by a small swarm of bees. Every day, firefighters help people. It's time. For me to go home for dinner, the firefighters start cooking their dinner too. They're like one big family.